Kristen, who moved this gym pole? Yesterday he was on the other side. Lieutenant Becker gave us the okay to send it up from here. Well, Becker's not running the shop line. I'm running it. You take your orders from me around here. Get that gym pole back on the other side where it belongs up there. Kristen. Get back here. How'd this get here? You got me, Sarge. You're damn right I got you. Hey, there are over 200 guys in the shop line, man. I saw you hide it. Look, I've been in the gun all morning, Sarge. Come on, we're gonna hash this out with the warden. You take me to him, it's back to isolation. You know that. Come on, boy. See Lieutenant Becker. Boys in isolation need a snoot full of gas. That'll shut them up. They got the word. We want to see the warden. That's it. The warden's gone. Gone to Honolulu. Somebody should have told me. Out in the Blue Pacific right now. Him and the missus. How come he didn't take you with him, Grossman? Uh, who's the acting deputy? John Fisk. Let's go. I'm gonna let you off with a warning, Briston. Going back to your work assignment, consider yourself lucky. I want this man taken off the roof towering gang, Mr. Fisk. He's a troublemaker. He's always shooting angles. We'll discuss it later, Grossman. I'd like to get it settled now. If he goes back to work, he's gonna be strutting all day. Kristen has a bad mouth, sir. He called me some pretty nasty names this morning. You didn't mention any profanity in your report. Well, I thought the boy was in enough trouble without mentioning that he called me a hunky son of a bitch or worse. You're a goddamn liar. You see that? You see? Look, he gets his kicks off of riding me. You see that? You see? Listen, I try to be fair. And there's a lot of stuff I leave out of my reports. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't say it, but you are a sadistic son of a bitch. get done making his rounds. Let me have your key, Galloway. You know darn well that door's supposed to be open from the inside only. The key? I won't hand it to you. Help yourself. You're on your own. Been opening doors around here for 20 years.
the office upstairs. Hey, come in! Nice going, baby, nice going. Put him in a cage, man. Let him see what it's like to smell three-day-old buckets. Uh -huh. All right, you heard the man. Get up. Please let me out in the air. I won't say nothing. Get up! Uh, get up, or I'll cut your throat out! <laughs> uh, uh, Listen, get back in there and work on that wall, man. Come on. Let's kill him. He's got it coming. I'll let you out of your cage, Joe. Hey, I'm in charge of the action now. You get back there and work on that wall. We'll cut him later. Come on, get him. Hey, come you back. Get in here. Put him in the cave, man. Then you work on that wall. Uh, hey, Brad. Brad. Captain Mulaski is having a heart attack or something. I could get a murder rap, you know? He's still breathing? Breathing. He's sparkling like a steam engine. Come on, uh, forget that, will you? Get in there and help him with those bricks. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. A couple of you guys check on the front wall. Keep your eyes open, right? Breaker, I'm telling you, send to the hospital for a doctor. If anything happens to Captain Mulaski, I'm going to hold every damn one of you responsible for this. Up yours. Get him out of here. Hey, 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 man, it's working. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Get out of yourself. Would you believe Bugsy Khan that half wit screw into opening his cage? I told him my bucket was leaking. As soon as he opened my cell, I grabbed his keys and slung them inside. <laughs> so he lets me out, saying we swung the rest of them. How many, man? Oh, uh, 17 and us. Yeah, that's all cool, man, but you should have left that foolish Indian locked up. No, no, no. We need him. That's right. <laughs> We're gonna bust out, man, right over the wall. Just us, just isolation. Yeah, 19 guys over the wall in broad daylight, huh? Oh, you most of them don't know yet. You're in it. In what? You got 10 miles to the mountains over flat, open land, and that's after you go across a wall that's got guard towers on both ends, man. You guys are crazy. We'll grab some trucks, and the towers will be on fire. Hey, Red, there's a bull on the walk. Hey, man. Get set to punch him out. He's going to the hospital. Hey, man, I didn't know the score. I thought we were just going to wreck the joint. Well, I ain't checking. I'm going with the rest go. Not me. I'm only doing five years. You were doing five years, Cool Breeze. You're in this now, baby. You're in it. Yeah, buddy. Now, what do you say? Huh? OK. I go with you still as far as the mess hall. But I'm not going near that goddamn wall in daylight. That's right. It's suicide. Well, how do we handle those gun towers? Molotov cocktail. All right, the construction gang's in it with us. We've got some jars of gasoline, we've got some rope. There's a grappling hook. It's all stashed in the construction shed. You had, Red. Give. Man, I should have known you guys Come had. on, man, what is it? The guards found that stuff yesterday, man, and hauled it out front. Did you see it yourself? From the roof of the mess hall. Come on, man. It's no sweat. Big Red will think of something, huh? Red? Come on now, we, we still got a chance. We're... Hang up that telephone. Right, you two guys, come here. Get out the front door and... Um... 
to unlock it. See, anybody comes in, you grab them, right? Hey, Kelly, you sure you didn't miss anyone upstairs? How? Well, I don't know, man. Um, what about the assignment, Lieutenant? He wasn't in that office. Kelly, you and Big Head, get upstairs. Galloway, control. Send him over. Hey, Reg. Who was that? A bull in CB4. 23511 has got a belly ache and he's got to go to the hospital. <laughs> Need a pass. Hey, that reminds me. What about Mulaski? That dude's in bad shape, Red. I gave him some of those pills he had in his jacket. Didn't do any good. I'll stay with him, man. The man needs a doctor, Red. Somebody better call the hospital. All right, call the doctor. Once he gets over here, he stays. No going back and forth. That goes for Mulaski, too. Prison or any other prison. And we could do this, man. We could do it. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. What do you want the keys for? You said later, Red. That's now. All right, listen to me now, Joe. Listen to me now, man. We're not in any real. Gosh, man. Hey. I want you. God. <laughs> and you said you needed that cat. For what? the mountains, man. He's, uh... What about the mountains? I'll tell you about the mountains. You wouldn't last two days there. There's no roads, there's no water, nothing. Listen, we'll shake the rest of them, right? It'll just be the three of us. Yeah. yeah. Joe's got the secret of all the Indian trails, the cave, the spring. Tell him later. Tell me now. On the other side of my people, that's food, Transportation. I know the border. Speak Spanish. You want to get to Mexico? All these ifs and maybes. Look, Red, if something goes wrong, we need those guys as hostages. Ah, Grossman! You hot bastard! I'm Joe, take it easy. Now. Give me that keys, my hand! You! Don't you up. ever! No. Don't you oh, ever I... pull a knife on a partner. Don't you <laughs> ever pull a knife on a partner. Man, he's gonna put a shiv in you. You better watch it. The hell with him. What about Molaski? Come on. I gave him a couple of them pills he carries around, but. You'll have to be taken to the hospital. Nobody leaves this building. You want him to die? Nobody dies, Doc. You want something, you get on the horn, you have to send over here. This man's got to have breathing apparatus and oxygen. Mm -mm. He's got to have intensive care. Look, Doc, will you give us your word you won't tip off the towers? You've got no other choice. I'll give you my word. Well, that's good enough for me, Red.
Missed you, Kelly. Now, Mary, be nice. Hey, it's the drag queen. Mary, where's your dress? She'll be wearing it soon enough, jogger. He's a big one. Oh, come on, Mary. The bigger they are, the better you like it. Shut up. And to you, sweetheart, the name is always Sheldon. Hey, where's your lipstick, Mary? He's so young. <laughs> Mary, you girls still throwing those little parties? Oh, yes, you glorious creature. <laughs> We've certainly missed you and yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hostages here, Doctor. And we, um. Do you understand? One peep out of you, or either one of these two. Right? Red! You ought to know better than that. Hey, Red! Some son of a bitch stole! Wait a minute. All right, so we didn't make it one way. We'll make it another. We're going to crash out of here. All we need is a little time. Maybe some more manpower. We're going to make them think it's something else. A riot? A protest better conditions. A riot. I don't care what they call it. We've got hostages! One shot inside these walls and you'll bury them.
Yeah, they're not gonna shoot. Come on, let's go. Let's go. found in the warden's desk. Hey, hey man, that's speed. The guards must have nailed another smuggler, huh, Red? Hey, what are you gonna do, trip out? I thought you had some planning to do. Come on, man, that's speed. Speed's an upper. Come on. Come on. Up there, they got rifles and shotguns. How many hostages are there? Hostages: the deputy warden, five guards, and Murray. He makes it seven. Murray? That psychologist, the, the civilian. He's sitting there in his office. He said the whole thing sounds very interesting. Yeah. That's very good. Because we're going to give him such a snow job and use him as a go-between, right? Yeah. A tunnel? How about a tunnel? Hey, man, you cracking up? Hey, that's an idea. My work at night. Hey, all yeah, we can come up 50 yards from the joint. I went to hold out here for a couple of days. We're gonna write up a list of grievances, and while they're reading our gripes, we're gonna be digging that tunnel, right? Hey, we'll get the Finks and the baby rapers to dig it. looks beautiful, baby. We're in like Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've been all around those yards. They must have real tight orders not to shoot. I've been all around under that gun. Oh, yeah. Hey, right now, the grievances. Now, who's gonna write them up? Who, who can type here? Hey, Cully. What's the guy's name in, uh, uh, writes the paper? You know, writes all that rehabilitation crap? What's his name? Skinny Brown. Skinny Brown. Skinny there Brown, you. he runs the newspaper. That's right, yeah. The most solid cons in this joint. And you're jumpy. I didn't say he wasn't. Oh, come on. Half of that stuff he writes in that paper is crap, huh, Red? How would you know, stupid? You can't even read. <laughs> hey, I get it. I get it. You tell Skinny to write up a list of grievances of why we're rioting. And you tell him to hurry. So we can pass it out front and let him know we mean business. Hey, where's Joe Sherfoot? <laughs> I'm tired of counting days I'm tired of saying sir Of doing what I'm told Of writing here in stir But don't nobody cry No you and wasting salty tears 
Skinny. Hello. Hey, look, uh, the guys want... Listen, you're doing five years. Keep out of this. It's too late now, Skinny. Who's running the show? Big Red Freaker's running the show, Skinny. What's up to you, Ed? Boxing champ. It figures. What did he get you to do? Well, I jumped Grossman and uh, locked up some hostages and a few other things. You ain't all right. Now they want to involve me. Billy, I'm doing life. I've got nothing to lose except this. So let's hear it. Well, the guys want you to uh, type up a list of grievances. We enjoy the unique privilege of incarceration under a man who cannot be replaced. You know about the warden's deal. He's got a lifetime job. Nobody, not the governor, not even the president, can pull him out of his appointed office. We have him in perpetuity. But we do have grievances. It's just a rough outline to start the ball rolling. Now. Yeah, well, it's rough, all right. Look, Skinny said he'd have a five, six page petition in just a couple of hours. Look, he's got the chow and then the uh, buckets down here at the bottom of the page. And it says unbalanced diet. And we're eating garbage. What about the gas? Yeah, there's not a word about the gas in there. Now, Skinny knows, as well as you and I, that we've been gassed in isolation. Not a word about it. And he says, the need for another head shrinker. Oh, On the job training. Man, forget it. Mister, we should have drew up our own goddamn last time. Huh? Look, man, you want to bitch. Don't bitch to me. Now, I've run my little errand. So if you guys want to type up your own petition, type it up. This will have to do, I guess. Anyway, what's all the fuss about? It's just a stall until we start the tunneling, right? Hey, man. Cool it. Dump me up. Come here. I don't trust these mainline cons, man. We've started the tunnel. Where? In the back of the auditorium. I mean, it's an old one. It's like 25, 30 years old. They're actually digging that. Yeah. Cool, Bree. Hey, man, what's happening? Hey, Rick. Bugsy needs help. I thought he was guarding the hostage. He was, man, until them cats from the cell house start ganging up in isolation. Like they got knives, like to get at the hostages, we get the blame. Mm. But the cell block was locked. Man, some wild man went after Sledge, man, and Bugsy like, hey, stick around. Look, you handle it, man. I got something to do. Well, this is an emergency. Well, you take care of it, Rick. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here. Listen to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. We got over 30 guys that can. Hey, they got a TV set up out there. Hey, come on. Let's get, hey, come on. Hey, let's get some hey, pictures here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Now, they're waiting for me. I'd handle this myself. Hey, Red. Buzzing needs help, man. You know how he is. Show him neck and steel, and he'll turn to yellow water. He's got the key to the cell, too. I thought you had the key. If they close in on him, man, he's going to give it to him. And then, and then they're going to be right in there, see? Now, I want you to handle this personally. It's the kind of thing that you can swing better than anybody else in the joint. Get in the mess hall, in the back of the mess hall, in the flower mill, and they'll be safe there. 
If the guys can't see the hostages, they're not going to be thinking so hard about getting to them, right? Am I right? Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Kubris? Yeah. You get skinny bronze, tell him to meet me at the front gate with the rest of that partition. All right, Red. Get the hell away from me now! Get up! 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 Get <laughs> now get out of my way! Who's next? Who's next? Come on. Come on. I've got no shank. Now who's gonna pick up that key? I've got no shank and I've got no patience. Now, come on! What are you trying to do, Carly? Win yourself a good time! Let me hear you repeat that. Hey, whose side are you on? You think Fish is going to pro you for this? For God's sake, Carly, get me out of here. Hey, Punchy, get over here! Get over here and bring a couple of your guys with you. Now pick up that key and open the cell. All right. Now hear me good. Most of you punks have never been in a hole before, but you're going around waving steel talking about cutting guards. Do you know what that means? Bull lover! If you want to cut something, cut each other. It makes me no never mind because nobody's going to give a damn. But if you cut one of these men, we all have to pay. Oh, you dumb, dumb, cottonhead, loudmouth punks. Get him out of here, Bugsy. All right, you guys are coming. I'm moving. Come on. Hey, look, now I've been nice, but I'm thinking of scoring a bank shit off on somebody's head. Get the hell out of here! Come on! Get up! Come on up. Stay in a group. We're going to move you to a safer place. Briston, I'd like to talk to you and Mr. Fraker, not as a prison psychologist, but as a friend. Grossman. Why, Grossman, you've wet your pants. My heart. For God's sake, take me to a hospital. You can stay here. Sure, foot will be alone in a little while, and I'm sure you'll take care of your heart. Cully. Cully. Listen. Move him out, Punchy. Right. Come on, Bruce. Oh. Well, now listen, now listen, Red. Hey, Red. Listen, Red, are any of the hostages dead? No, none of the hostages are dead. Have any of them been injured? No, none of them been injured. Hey, Red, Red. None of them will be injured either. Right here, Red. Right here. Authorities respect our right to negotiate. Hey, Red, right here. Get him, big head. Get him, big head. All right, spread out. I said spread out.
God's sake, Cully, let me go home to my wife. Stop crying, Grossman. I'm a sick man. Look, Grossman. Huh? For over four years, I've watched you crack the whip around here. Now, all of a sudden, you're a sick old man. Come on! Big Red wants to know if we got the hostages stashed. They're up top, punching garden. We've been on television. Big Red and me. Well, what about the other guys in my isolation? Some of them are digging a tunnel. It's all over the world about our riot. Who's right? All right. Yours and mine and Big Red's, I guess. There are over 1,200 guys in this joint, kid. And you and me and Big Red are rioting? Well, I got news for you, kid. As of now, it's you and Big Red, because I'm going to go and brew me a batch of Raisin Jack. Raisin Jack? How much are you going to make? Can I help you? Well, uh, we can't disappoint our public now, can we, kid? So we've got to brew enough to turn on the whole joint, huh? <laughs> Come on. The way she working now, she'll have a nice kick for morning. Mm -hmm. What raisin jack is this? Well, I'd say about 800 gallons. Be better off making soup and beans and oatmeal. What these pots were meant for. Gonna be a lot of hungry cons crowding in here. Well, if they're hungry, let them try this on for size, man. Pure health food. You know, we got some figs and prunes and raisins and apricots. Now, leave anything out, moonshine? Yeast. Yeah, real pure, rich yeast, man. Guaranteed to be full of vitamins and minerals. And, uh, let's see, where are them pills now? Them pills and pills. Mood elevators? That's right, Rick, baby. Mood elevators. We're gonna elevate the mood of the entire population. Right, Moonshine? Hey, Man, this tunnel is an old mother. Some more boards over here. Hey, get some more boards down here. Keep that air coming. One of the lifers showed us where it was filled in around the start of World War II. The guys that dug it, they're all dead or gone. Man, I don't know how it stayed a secret all these years. Pure luck. Yeah, I guess it was luck that first plan blew up, man. Hey, how far does she go and how long will it take, huh? She goes in there and then cuts around that way and then straight towards the back outside wall. Yeah. We've got a good 90 feet for the last measurement. 90 feet? And that's cutting it damn close. Most of that was the easy stuff. The guys who filled it in, they kept it loose and left some of the old shoring in. But we're in the pack turf now. Man, that's slow. Yeah, but it's safe now. <laughs> What's safe? Where do these go? Number three and four gun towers. They carry steam in the winter. Towers, eh? That's right at the wall. Well, why couldn't we go from there to the outside, huh? Solid concrete. They'd hear us drilling. Overhead? You mean where the pipes uh, lead into the tower? There's manhole covers. The guards would lift them up and gas us like rats. 
Well, if we don't swing this deal, that's what they're gonna do anyway. Well, you just need to jive it, Cully. No, man. We made this place strictly off limits. They want to know what's happening in here? I tell them the strategy committee's handing out work assignments. They buzz off. Beautiful. Man, here's a stinking snitch guy from Duke Truesdale. Throw it in the evidence file. Man, I never did trust that loudmouth yeah. punk. Say, <laughs> get a load of this one. Two goddamn pages. It's a new queen they got working out in the library. You got a horse face blind. The fruiter says. Yeah, throw it a pile. We'll get it later. You know what? It looks like to me, half the guys in this joint are snitching to the warden about the other half. Yeah, but that's all gonna be straightened out. Goddamn right it's gonna be straightened out. There's gonna be some busted heads before this is over. Thanks for coming, fellas. Hey, Cully. Red and the others are looking for you. They're having a meeting at the barber shop and they want you in on it right away. She's coming along fine. Ooh. Here's a so-called good convict. Told you about him five years ago, and you wouldn't believe me. You put him at the top of the list and knock a stinking punk head off. Ought to cut it off. You guys planning a head ripping session, huh? One grievance, Murray. It's sex. That's it. Pure and simple. Uh, Would Brun you believe that I haven't been laid in seven years? Uh, Mr. Bruns and Mr. Fraker are showing me a detailed list of the grievances. And I must say, it fills this entire affair in a different light. No, I'm going to take him with me to the next press meeting. I'll do everything I can to help you, ma'am. Just so you don't get carried away by his fast, sweet promises, huh? Look, I'm for reform, Mr. Briston. Yeah, well, I understand that, but you don't want to rush into any quick uh, agreements with him now, do you? Right, Red? Oh, yes. Well, the convicts previously had been uh, double-crossed in their negotiations, so we're going to let the press know everything. Once this riot is over and that gate is locked tight, the public will hear just what the warden wants them to hear. No, that's not entirely true, Mr. Brown. You and you here, Murray, you don't know that warden. Yeah, and when he comes back, we are going to hear about it. Yeah, he's going to guess this joint. And I mean all of it this time, not just those of us from isolation. But that would injure the hostages. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, Murray. What the hell? What do you think? We're telling you some kind of a scary story? Warden doesn't give a damn who he hurts. Why in the hell do you think we're staging this thing while he's away, huh? We've got to hammer one thing home. No reprisals. No reprisals and, and, and no punishment for the leaders. What leaders, man? Brad and me and Kelly and Jonesy and you, Cully. You're wrong, man. I ain't no leader. Oh, I ain't no leader. <laughs> Get a load of our humble hero. But you saved our lives this afternoon, Mr. Briston. I ain't no leader. You're a hero, Cully. And when you face those loudmouths down today, you also became a leader. Ain't never seen a man like I was going to be But now I'm doing time And time is killing me How you doing? Okay, Cully. 
I heard something about her eyes. Uh, I think that's BS. Everybody's talking. Man, you're fake. For what? For Raisin Jack. Bad old dad. When that party started. Gee. Let me in on it. And what, Jake? You're going to get uh, six more months. That's right. We'll go on each side. Cully, you've got something going. Look, Jake, I split my child with you and we split this cell. But I don't want you in it. Why not? Because I'm in deep. And I'm getting in deeper just while I'm lying here. Now it's like I thought up this whole thing myself. I'm never gonna get parole, Jake. I know that now. I'm never gonna walk out of this place. Never. Just like Kelly and the others. You know, they get mixed up in one thing, and then they get mixed up in something else, then it's something else, and pretty soon the sentence goes up and up, and uh, I don't know. And here I am, involved in this million to one shot that I would have passed up this morning. But now, I've got to take it. Escape. And I don't want to split that with you, Jake. I don't want you involved in any part of it. Listen, Fruit, I told you, let him sleep. But it's his party. Back to Queen's room, Mary, before you get hurt. Uh. Cully, drop by for a drink. You ought to see the miracle that has been wrought in this old whorehouse.
free, Daddy. Ooh, if it been anybody, just anybody else, bow! But somehow I just can't bring myself to slug a queen. started so soon, Moonshine. I told him stuff wasn't ready to drink. stuff ain't got no more kick than beer and... It'll get you drunk as any lush on Skid Row. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Frankly, Mr. Fraker, I'm worried. I know you're going to need your wits about you for the next meeting. 
tell you an interesting fact. You don't already know it. More than 70% of the men in the penitentiaries committed their crimes while on the influence of alcohol. Yeah, I was drunk. Your offense was uh, rape, wasn't it? Well, that's what they said. Look, I, I see, saw this bimbo in court. And I mean, I mean, if I was drunk enough to get the hots for her, I must have been too drunk to do anything about it. and make distraction. Listen, Cully, listen to me. It makes me look like I'm representing a bunch of bums. You are, Red. You are, man. What do you mean? Now, don't let that faggot psychologist tell you any difference. That's what you're doing. You, you, you just don't understand. Now, look, what you're running at the gate is a put-on. It's just a cover-up. What's happening in here, man, makes my job out at the gate that much harder. What's going on here is a put-on, too, man. Look, Red, I got those guys stoned, just like we want them. Now we got them out of our hair, right? Right? Yeah. All right. And everything's cool, huh? Fred, look, there's like a hundred things that can happen over here, man. You gotta handle those one at a time. Yeah, how about that one thing that we can't handle, man? Then we're screwed. That's why we gotta hold our cool, man. If we hold our cool, we're not gonna get screwed. Right? Right, Big Ben? <laughs> yeah, right. right. on that stuff, man. No one on my crew gets stoned. Understood? We'll all get loaded and get laid real, huh? Hey, how's she coming? We're getting there. Good. Come on. Now, um, you get outside the wall yet? Yeah, we've made it. How far? 15, 20 feet. Where are you planning on coming up? Other side of the motor pool. When? We'll be there sometime this afternoon. Now, wait a minute. Hold off breaking through the surface until sundown. OK, good. Now, uh, how many of those guys coming with us? Just three. Then there's you and Red. And who else, Bugsy? Yeah, Bugsy, Kelly, and Shawford. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Well, that's the deal. It's a deal. Collie! Collie! Somebody 
up there trying to get to the hostages. Joe, come on, step closer and I'm gonna let you have it. Everybody's always talking about a chance to get him. And the chance is now. And you're standing here protecting him. Mexico now. You know, you punched me out before. Now, take it easy, Joe. But you're never gonna punch me out again. Now what? We gonna leave him later until he comes to? I guess I'll have to put him someplace where it'll be safe for him and us. You wait here, I'll send someone to take a look at you. What in the hell did you do it for, Colin? Do what? The Indian man. You locked him up and he's going nuts in there. He was fixing to cancel our insurance policy. So I did it for his protection and ours, huh? Uh, this whole deal's turning sour, man. Well, now, uh, go lock yourself up in a cell and stay the hell out of it. Uh -huh. Have you guys leave me behind?
told you there'd be trouble. We feel it's impossible to present a fair picture of the inmates' point of view while those men are behaving like that. Did you work in some other prison before you came here? No, why? How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. Well, I'm 29. Where did you work before you got here? Well, I was with the State Welfare Board. Doing what? Counseling. Convicts? No. As a matter of fact, I was counseling unwed mothers. Well, we don't have that problem here, so why don't you just stay out of this, huh? Jesus, Cully, the newspaper's asking questions about Queen's Row with the mascara and the, you know... And the kangaroo court. Well, how did you handle it, Ray? I told him that a couple of boys were getting a little wild, but that we'd take care of them. Getting a little wild, huh? Look, man, we gotta cut off this bar, and now! I want to talk to you. All right. You want the bad Sam to do it yourself. Would you believe it if I told you that we're actually getting somewhere in these negotiations? I'd believe one thing. What's that? I'd believe you've bought yourself a snow job. And nobody can talk to you. Take a look at that clock. Just a few more hours to go till sundown. And you and me, we're gonna have a little talk with Joe Shawfoot. Yeah, if we can find him. Don't worry about that. We can straighten him out. Look, baby, we're close. Real close. And then we're gonna go. Get that straight red. And keep that straight. Kelly? You're right, man. You're right. I don't know what's happening. Look, man, you had a good plan, and it's still a good plan. You and me and Joe, we're gonna go. That's it. No other way. This is your warning. I am, I am back. back. Turn, Turn that, that damn, damn thing up as loud as you'll go without feedback. feedback. I want every last man in this place to hear me and hear me good. If you didn't hear me, I will say it again. This is the warning. I am back. I'll repeat, I'll repeat that. that. I, I am back. back. I, I want, want you, you all to hear me loud and clear. You have chosen to riot while I've been gone. You've taken some of my administrators and guards as hostages. In order to protect the lives of these hostages, the people in charge have not taken the action required. Well, I have news for you. Order will be restored immediately. I warn every one of you bastards. For every hostage you kill, I will kill ten of you. For every hostage you cut up... When did he get back? The man must have been while we were in there negotiating. He could have only taken a few hours long. I'll throw a hundred of you in the hole and throw away the key. Make no mistake. That son of a gun, he could start gassing this place right now. No, 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 man. We got the hostages. Yeah, but that won't stop him, man. We need time, time. Go outside and get those clowns and see if you can set up a meeting with the old man. Right, right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Maybe you ought to go with me this time, buddy. No, I can't go, man. I've got to push Gigolo and his crew, so they'll go ahead and dig for daylight. Right. Wait a minute. What the hell is that good is a meeting going to accomplish? Yeah. I'll tell them we were having a meeting over here. Yeah. And we'll deliver the hostage in three hours. No. Two hours. All right. What if he only gives us one hour? Well, the tunnel leads to the other side of the shed. Man. Yeah. And we can wait there until darkness. And it's, at least we'll be outside the wall. Right? Right. right.
Gordon, I've read these grievances, and I believe they're justified. If you'll only take a look at them... You! You want to negotiate with me? You got one of my deputy wardens locked up, Fisk. You go get the key and bring him to the gate, and then maybe I'll negotiate with you. It's taking too long to talk about it. There's something wrong. Hey, Red, where do you get him locked up? Where do you have him locked up, Red? Hey, Red, Red, Red. Hey, hey, Red, come here. Hey, Red. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, hey, stop. Tell us something. Hey. Red, right here. Yeah, one more, Red, one more. Hey, Red. What did he say, Doc? Hey, Doc. He's going to comply with your wishes. Hey, Cully. Hey, Cully. Hey, hey, Doc, come here. Come here. Hey, Doc, give us a word, will you? Hey, Cully. Hey, man, you don't answer. Man, you are so uncool. Listen, you got the key to the hostages? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I'm gonna give them one, Fisk, just to prove that the rest of them are alive. Well, what are you gonna get in return? More time. Oh, man, he's playing with you. He's playing with you. What do you mean? Who is that man? Looks like Cully Bristol, sir. Binoculars. You better believe he wouldn't think twice about gassing Fisk or Grossman or his own mother. Look, I better get over to Joe Shorefoot, man, and shape him up. We might have to change our plans or something. Kelly Preston! Kelly Preston! The warden wants to see you on the wall. What did you tell him? Man, I didn't say a word. I swear to God, I didn't say a word. Come on, Preston! Go ahead and talk to him. What the hell you got to lose? I'm gonna go get Fisk. Uh... Go ahead, see what he wants. Tell me, Preston, come on. The warden wants to see you on the wall. I'm learning me some games to pass the time away. Like sweating in the sun and breaking rocks all day. But don't nobody cry No use in wasting salty tears I'm only gonna be here Maybe for one hundred years So you're the one the big shot. You're the one that's ramrodding this deal. That that so-called leader had to go to. To get the keys. To get permission. Mr. Big. Mr. Brain. You can go. And take these nitwits with you. Well, Warden, should I stay here with the men? Marie. Get out. Hey, Doc. 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 Hey,
Yes? Fraker just delivered Fisk through the main gate. The other hostages are still locked up, but reported okay. Where's Cully Briston? Briston and Surefoot. You know that Indian from isolation? Yes. Crossed over to the auditorium. Fraker's gone in there, too. Looks like they're having some kind of meeting, sir. What do you think? All right, here's how it goes, man. Two of my diggers first to widen the hole, then Bugsy, Kelly, and me. Red, Joe, and Cully, bring up the rear. All right. When you hit daylight, go straight to the shed. No talking. Stay flat, travel on your bellies. We'll stay there until dark, then we'll play it by ear and finding a truck or a couple of cars or whatever the hell we can find. You got it? All right, move out. Kenny? Bugsy? Kelly? What the hell are you doing here, Mary? Beat it, will you? Don't think you guys are going anywhere without me. What the hell is that? Look, Mary, forget it. Listen, Cully. When you're outside, you're going to need connections and a place to hide. I got them. The queer? Oh, for Christ's sakes, what the hell does that mean now? Huh? You guys want to get out? You want to stay out? Then you need me. No dice. Let's go, Cully. Come on. Listen, Cully. Please. Oh, please. Got to get out of here. Look, Mary, beat it, will you? The plans have already been made. Now beat it. Get out of here. OK. I don't go. Nobody goes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. All right, look, we have no choice. I say take him. So come on, let's go.
Hold it, hold it.
My lonely world is filled With silences that play We're strangers for my friends With empty eyes that stay But don't nobody cry Wasting soul 